Hey, how's everyone doing? Fulton here, and tonight I'm going to be doing a very special discussion video of sorts. For a little while now, some of my subscribers have been wondering my thoughts and opinions on the debate versus physical versus digital, uh, either for formats or for ways of obtaining music. And although that's a topic that really resonates with me, and a topic that I have very strong thoughts and opinions on, I honestly think that the videos that have already been made on the topic have kind of beaten the issue to death. And at the end of the day, it really just comes down to personal preference. So, I got the idea to make this video, which should, in a way, kill two birds with one stone. This video should kind of indirectly deal with that idea of physical versus digital, as well as another question that I've been asked numerous times is, what do I listen to my music on? You know, before I review it, or just in general. So, I got the idea to make this video, and the question is very simple. Whatever your preferred preference is to obtain music, or your preferred format of which to listen to music, how do you enjoy this music? So. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you some of the ways that I listen to music, um, both new and old, and hopefully this will be a cool video for you to watch, and I know this should be a little bit fun for me to do, and let's turn this into a very, very cool discussion. So without further ado, here is how I listen to the music. So I guess the only logical way to start off this video is starting with the smallest and kind of working my way up. So, with that said, I'll start with the smallest digital MP3s. And I gotta say, you know, I'm not against portable media devices for MP3s. And this trusty Zune has been with me ever since 2007. Um, I do uh, like to exercise quite a bit, and this helps me bring any album that I would want, you know, in numbers. You know, anywhere, you know, I want to go run, to go to the gym, just pop this on. And man, this thing is a brick. I mean, I have dropped this, stepped on it, you know, it's been, you know, submerged in water several times, and this thing just, it has not let me down. I've had to uh, fix the uh, audio import jack thing on it, and it's still, it still works. And, you know, I have a feeling I'll have this for, you know, a little bit longer. I don't know, a couple more years, eh, might be pushing it, but this thing has never let me down. And when it comes to, you know, me listening to my MP3s, this is how I like to do it. Moving on, might as well talk about another different kind of portable device. Anyone still have any of these? These uh, Discmans. I still use mine quite frequently and still works. This is probably the fifth or sixth one I've had in my life. And yep, this uh, the Sony Discman Walkman still still works fine. And hey, you know it, it, it this the skipping mechanism that's supposed to like stop skips. It it doesn't exactly work that way anymore. But either way. I'm still able to listen to some CDs, you know, if I want to actually, you know, just home my opinion on you know, just one CD at a time, one album at a time. Do it on this. If I don't have the time to rip it, I always have that. So, hey, gotta still love it. Now talking about, I guess, a uh, idea of outdated portable media devices. Most people probably don't even know what the hell this thing is, but, yep, this is a uh, little portable cassette deck. And you can imagine how cool I look when I walk down the street listening to one of these. And I don't care. I do collect tapes, as some of you know, and this is probably my preferred way to listen to tapes. There's a little, like speaker on it and stuff, but I don't really use the, the onboard speaker all too much. But the, you know, the earpiece and the, and the headphones, they, they sound great when you put it in. 
And you can even do some recording on it, but that's something you have blank tapes for, which I have done in the past, learning some guitar stuff and uh, tracking myself, but this is my preferred way to listen to tapes, and it works quite well. It really does. I've had this for a long time. This is a, a GE little portable tape deck, and hey, what can I say? I'm big on the vintage stuff. I can't really say this is vintage, but I still use my tape decks. What you gonna do about it? Now, of course, I have some other ways of listening to portable media devices, such as my phone, which I can't show you right now because that's what's filming this. So, uh, my Galaxy S3 has a, a couple of different apps on it. The Winamp app does play FLAC files, which I do enjoy because not every portable media device can play FLACs. Um, so having that option is really, uh, really, really nice. So I do enjoy having that, although I can't exactly have as much you know, digital material with me at all times you know, as I can on this, but hey, it is what it is. So pretty much that about does it for my portable media devices when it comes to how I listen to some music. But when it comes to the headphones, I actually have several different types of headphones that I like to use at various different times. Now, as I said, I was going to start small and work my way up. I'll start with, well, these lovely things. They just make knots in your pocket all the time. I just don't know how they do it. Uh, so th these are um, the only pair of earbuds I was ever able to stand up until right now. And these are the, actually, this is the Samsung headset that came with the phone. And I gotta say, these are very, very well done. The, uh, the little earbud pieces that go in there. Um, I haven't had luck with them in the past, but these had a, a, a pair that fit my ear well. And they sound really, really good. I mean, they're kind of made to be um, that kind of sound noise reduction for phone calls. And it works well with playing music on the phone, but also playing music on other handheld devices, such as the Zoom. So I'm kind of thankful that I was able to try these out, and I actually like them. So I've been recommended to check out some of the Sennheiser CX series. Uh, if anyone has uh, tried those, what what are they like? Are they you know better or worse than these? If, if, even if you haven't had these, um, do you like them? Let me know. Moving a little bit bigger, we have these kind of slimline Sony's. This is uh, a pair of headphones that I use quite a bit, actually. You know, this is like if I go outside, if I'm running. Actually, if I'm running, these are usually what I'm wearing. Sometimes I can go to sleep with these. And these are just some MDR uh, 210s, I think. I think that's what these are, yeah. And just some very basic Sonys, like, you know, 15, 20 bucks at you know, Walmart or Best Buy. And, you know, the bass response are moderately okay on these. And that's kind of all I really need if I'm if I'm running I'm really not going to be paying attention all too much I just need some moderately okay quality sound going through my ears and those seem to do it and uh, I'm kind of happy to have those so cool moving to the next size up I have a pair of Sony MDR V250s now this pair has obviously been kind of beaten up over the years and has been taped together, but hey, that, that gives it character, right? Uh, these still sound really, really good, uh, aside from me having to kind of tape the the balance and the volume in place. It, they, they still sound great. These are one of the headphones that I use when I am either listening to my Zune or uh, my CD player in a private setting, or if I'm sitting here at my computer, uh, which I will show you momentarily but I do have the headphone jack on the speakers of my computer, and um, this is usually the, the main pair I use for that, but I also have another pair of um, bigger headphones that I use for more private listening, and I'll get into those right now. And the last pair of headphones are an original pair of AKG K240s. Now, this is one of the only things that me and Anthony Fantano agree on, as of uh, right now, but uh, yeah, th these are great headphones, and he, I think he has the newer version of the uh, AKG 240s, but either way, they still sound great. I inherited these from my dad, actually, and they still work from, God, 
30 years ago. Um, and since they are so old, I do have to use a, a quarter inch to one eighth jack, not the other way around. So by default, it actually is a quarter inch jack. So that's business, isn't it? Well, either way, these do mean business. They still sound great. Uh, semi open. Uh, headphone and it just it, it, it pretty much has like a surround sound kind of effect in your head but this was way before surround sound headphones or surround sound like you know 5.1 systems or whatnot but hey AKGs cannot recommend them enough these are some serious headphones and if you've tried some headphones what are your preferred methods of uh, obtaining headphones like what would you look for in a pair of headphones or what are your favorite headphones when it comes down to high quality you know, audio file sound. So let me know in the comments. So as far as portable media devices go and their acquiring headwear, this is basically what I've been using over the past maybe seven, seven and a half years. So let's turn this around and explore a little bit more of how I listen to physical and digital music in a way that's not exactly portable. So let's take a look at some of those. If I happen to do any listening on my computer, which I happen to do quite a lot, my player of choice is uh, Winamp um, with all of my CD rips, you know, ripped to flack, of course. And it just has everything I need here uh, for whatever band I happen to be listening to. And of course, uh, if I'm not using Winamp, I am using the Zune software for all of my MP3s in order to put them onto my Zune device. Uh, otherwise, that's about it for my computer listening, which are running 5.1 into these Logitech X, uh, X540s, I believe they are, which are running uh, 5.1. I won't show you the other ones because they are kind of hard to get to. And uh, they are, I believe, 70 watts with a 140 peak power. So, um, pretty good sounding Logitechs for the money. These were, I think, I don't know, maybe 150 bucks when I bought them. Uh, so that's about it for my computer, so let's move on. So over here to my left, I have my Sony 5-disc CD changer running into an old Carver magnetic field power amp, which still works uh, very, very great, which I have running into a set of wall-mountable Bose speakers, which um, are on right and left sides of this room, and uh, they sound great. And just to give a little tour of what is in here, what do we have in here? Uh, yes, we have uh, Dream Theater's Change of Seasons, which is something I usually spin a lot when springtime comes or when it's just changing into spring. We have, what do we have there? We have Mastodon with Blood Mountain, uh, Merlion's Brave, one of my top favorites of all time, Opeth's Heritage, and the first disc of Porcupine Trees, The Incident. I've been in a very progalicious mood as of late, which is um, <laughs> usually my listening mood, but I am very much a metal head, as you all know. So moving leftward again, we have an original Bose Wave stereo. Uh, listening to Judas Priest Painkiller, uh, here's my inner metal head unleashing very awesome disc, very awesome album. And usually when a new album comes in, this is the first thing that it goes into uh, to play. And it just comes out of these four speakers right in the front of it. And if I need to, I can just plug into my auxiliary port and I can use my Zune or any other uh, iPod device or whatever. The only problem is I obviously don't have a remote control uh, to control it. I mean, I can control it with this since I am very lazy at times, but um, yeah, this this is usually where my listening goes down for the most part, and it just sounds great and uh, does everything I need. So let's move on to my vinyl. And for the majority of my vinyl listening, it is done on this. Uh, this is just a very basic Emerson uh, music box. Um, no vinyl in here, obviously, but uh, I understand this is not the best turntable that I could be using. Uh, but uh, at the time, I was um, getting ready to move to college, and I needed something that would uh, fulfill all of my needs while in my dorm room. And this was uh, reasonably affordable at the time. 
uh, please in the comments if you know of a of a better turntable that I could be using for my vinyls please uh, by all means let me know uh, when I bought this this was basically what I was going to be playing music in my dorm room and I needed something that would cover all the basis of my musical listening and all the mediums of which I could do that you know with CD you know the radio the vinyl turntable and the tape deck pretty much served all that I needed to do you know in one little thing and it it sounds moderately okay I mean these speakers can only do so much uh, which is why I have special modded the back of this for some uh, occasional listening through uh, these two speakers on the sides which I will show you now which goes into these two Yamaha NSA220 140 watt uh, floor speakers which I was able to pick up for very very cheap and it is a very very awesome find the nice vintage uh, wood casings um, it's pretty much the same on the other side uh, which I will show you now and here is the right channel side basically the same thing we have a nominal impedance of 8 ohms which is uh, pretty decent especially for something this old and so this is where I do my vinyl listening and all that jazz so that's about gonna do it for my little tour of how I listen to music I know some of the things I have and some of the ways I do listen to music you know quality wise aren't exactly the best but either way, they have brought me many, many years of happiness and listening to great music. So, really no complaints there. As long as I'm happy and as long as I get to enjoy this fine music, that's all that really matters, right? So now I turn it over to you. How do you like to listen to music? Please, you know, discuss in the comments some of your favorite ways and methods of, you know, rigging something together to blast some awesome tunes or even post a video response. This is one thing that I'm really hoping that some of you will be able to do. Post a video response of your, you know, rigs and your audio setups. I will be more than happy to post it as a video response. And I look forward to seeing them all. I look forward to hearing all your comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely had a lot of fun making it. And keep listening to great music. Loud. All right. If you have neighbors, headphones. They could do great things too. I'll see you in another video. Cheers.